What is up, everybody? Welcome. I'm Sheldon SideQuest, back again. This time, another free demo for the game Aloft. So, this game isn't supposed to be released until 2024, but there is a demo that looked highly exciting. So, without further ado, get into this. Create a new map. I got this demo from Steam, per usual, and I think we'll just go ahead and see what this game has to offer. It looked pretty cool. <clears throat> kind of a cool concept. Crafting and survival-based type stuff. Okay, I'm gonna gather some materials here. Some pretty standard controls, it looks like, too. No problem. And so far, like, the scenery is cool. Look at those sun rays. That's pretty freaking sweet. Alright, so I'm picking up pieces of wood. Or small trees. If you will. Let's see here. Boom. Wood and leaves are being collected here. And already, too, like the ambient noises and stuff, like the birds. Sounds pretty legit. Alright, so this is telling me I need a pickaxe of sorts. I believe I'm just going to hoard as many supplies as possible. That's really the name of the game out here. And I did just see, like, some Avatar-type shit going on over there. I do like. Oh, man, look at that. None of this stuff is... None of this stuff is grabbable. That's Okay. And this is like right where we started, so we just went through like a little loop. And that's pretty cool. And I know, based on experience from playing survival games, crafting games, you just gotta start grabbing as many supplies as you can. So it looks like all we could get so far were the bushes. I think these trees need like an axe. Oh, snap. Oh, but you can get the branch. Beautiful. Alright, and I did... Uh, I did read a little bit about what's actually going on in this game. For a little bit of backstory. So, these islands are floating. Alright? Wow, that's super cool looking clouds. Uh, these islands are floating. And they're, they're floating around... A big ass hurricane okay which is very interesting and basically there's different ones okay yeah check it out so look those ones allegedly have bad people on them there because they're corrupted and other ones just have things on them like this right here so this is what we're looking for this right here our most valuable resource creativity was truly limitless so i just learned how to to do a workbench so this is like a learning stone if you will Oh, look, and there's some stones right here to be grabbed. Beautiful. Get as much stuff as we can. So I learned a workbench. Now, I think... Back to more gathering and stuff, but basically we're looking for these stones. And they have these ribbons tied on them so you can see them from far away. But super cool, you can see all this other stuff out here. And also, I've been putting this off just because I was collecting stuff. So we got leaves, we got wood, we got stone. Really cool artwork. I think that's actually very interesting. So, this is how you learn things, supposedly. If you put things together... Oh, you hold it down? Alright, so then we learn stone hammer. So then if you go in here, now I can craft the stone hammer. Oh. And we got wood stairs, wooden triangle floor, wooden wall, wooden floor. So we're learning things. Okay, and if you put two rocks in there, you can learn something different. A sharp stone. Make one right now. Okay, and then if you put these things together, the wood and the sharp stone, you can make a stone axe. Very interesting. So at this point in time, I now have... And then E for equip... So that's my one and two. 
Now I got a hammer and an axe. Cool. And I kind of liked how that worked. So let's check this other stuff out. At home, stamina consumption reduced. A familiar environment lowers your blood pressure and you consume less stamina overall. Very interesting. Dreams and progression. This tab is not yet implemented. And there's my inventory and my equipment. So right now it looks like... What's B? Oh, B for building. Interesting. So just making an axe and a hammer, I can make these things. Oh, and I can make a workbench. So... Let's see here. Rotate. Oh, this is very similar. Quite a few other games I played. So what I'll do is I'll just put this workbench. I mean, actually, you know, maybe we should... Maybe we should get some higher ground. Oh, look, and then you can make these sweet roof pieces with the... Like the flower, uh, the moss and stuff on them. Oh yeah, let's cut a tree down. Oh, got a little spin move there for you. Maybe the edge wasn't the best place to do that, but we did it anyway. Oh, and then you can lay down? Interesting. Alright, well, let's get away from the edge, because that's kind of terrifying. Grab some more of everything. And basically right now, we're just going to grab some supplies, obviously, and... Also, I am going to look for more of those ribbons. And I might cut some more trees down, but we don't want to do it like right on the edge because that was kind of effed up. I'm sure all these stones and everything are going to be worth more once we start building. We'll figure it out. So once we make the workbench, oh, look at those things glimmering in the distance. Bet those are things just waiting to be discovered. So I think once we actually start building some stuff, we're going to find out a little bit more. I'm not going to grab every single branch right now. I think we already collected quite a bit. Oh, snap. So this is kind of cool. Kind of cool little area here. All right, so what I might do... Oh, man, this is, like, heavily dense area. This is really cool. So I think I might actually go ahead and throw down... Let's see. The building menu, and they were going to allow me to make this. So I might just... Probably just try to put this thing down. Maybe like, right over here. Amongst these flowers. And now that I have that. Mix. Okay, so add resources below to begin crafting. Mix only yellow dotted ingredients together to discover new recipes. So if you look, put three of these together. Oh, a leaf long cloth. Stone pickaxe. I guess we can craft that. Craft a couple of these just to keep going. And then let's get this stone pickaxe. Awesome. And that's also... Let's equip that. To our third. Alright, so we got the long leaf and the sharp stone. Still nothing else. And then we don't have any more yellow dotted materials mixed together. Interesting. But, oh, there's a bed. Well, without too much other stuff, let's actually see. So, there's a full, the, okay, I see what they're saying. This is the roof, this is the basics. So, this is some kind of stone or something that we don't know yet. So, what we will do... I believe this is the same rotating thing, yeah. So if I can build this above here. Oh, 
might be able to have like a nice little snapping. That doesn't look clean snap. I guess it is. Okay. So I was going to say, if we can build these things up, I think that might actually be cool to do. And I wonder, I wonder how I'm actually doing on my wood. Looks like I got quite a bit. And then also, you know, I got the axe now, so I can just chop a bunch of this stuff down. But I think I'm just going to run through here, grab a few pieces of wood real quick, just so we don't have to slow down the building process. Because I do want to get, like, a little shelter built over here. Just because I'm really interested about the crafting and all that. And so far, so far it looks pretty damn cool. So I think what I'm going to do is, this is like a nice start. is like a nice start maybe i'll do it over here oh and it's raining and it's showing me like wet like that's not good to be wet oh and also i didn't notice this but oh you could i could have just made it all in one or i could have just made a skinnier one dang that's cool so there's options at the bottom you either press one to go left or three to go right did not know that all right, so let's check this out. Wooden frame, a frame to place a door or a window. So maybe we'll do that right. Y'all. Nice. Oh, and then once again, there's more of those too. Wow. Let's see, is there a way to destroy? There is a way to destroy stuff. I almost want a cooler door now. Let's see here. Hmm. So I'd like to. Ah, okay. You gotta hold the right click and then hit the left. So what I wanna actually do is since I'm a noob and I'm just figuring out for the first time that there's these sick doorways. I want a, I want a cool doorway like this one. Can you still walk through this? Heck yeah. Oh, okay. And then also, it looks like when you put stuff down, it's not actually even built until you hammer it. Okay. Oh, but if you... It looks like you've hit multiple times. Very interesting. So that, I don't actually have anything to finish that door yet. So that's a good freaking start right there. Let's see what else we can do. So here's a door... No, that's not a door. Oh, so I can't make a door yet, apparently. That's okay. So the wall. We can make the walls, though. And it looks like there's an inside and an outside. Get those braces on the inside. Did that not? I literally just like stuck that up against the side of that mountain. I didn't even know that was a thing. All right, so let's see what else we can do. And you know what? Now that I did that, let's see again. So you get the wood back that you that you use, no problem. But what I'm going to do is I did notice that there was some almost like windowy. So I noticed that there was, of course, down here at the bottom. So you have the ability to. Oh, I don't like how that's backwards. You have the ability to switch through things down here at the bottom. And what I noticed is that there was like window things like that which we're down with that and then what i'm gonna do i'm probably gonna make this thing but i don't like how you can't tell where the brace what side the bracing's on sometimes but i think what i'm gonna do is 
I think I might build this thing like a height and a half. God, I really hope that some of these bracings end up on the right side because it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, and that one doesn't seem like it wants to cooperate. All right, well, and look at that whole side. You know what? I'm not really super worried about it. So I might actually put another doorway over here and another ramp over here. So let's see. So now that we know we can switch through stuff, let's just switch right to the one that we need. And if you just start turning it in the right direction, these folks kind of figure it out. So then we'll go back to the doors. Perfect. And then I think we might leave some room for expansion right there. And then in the meantime, let's go ahead and put a half wall up there. And then we'll get out of the building and we'll go to... Yes. And luckily, we, we got a bunch of supplies at the beginning, so we should be good. At least for most of this stuff. And my main thing is I really kind of just wanted to get us... Oh, and this stuff is so cool. You already know we need these roofs. I don't want to like spend this whole time building a house. Oh my gosh. But I do think it would be wise to have at least somewhat. And there's a lot of choices. Like you can do like the corners and there's a lot of things you can do. But I think right now. Oh, they don't want to. Oh, you got to get right there. Okay. I was going to say they don't want you to get the goods so i do think this is gonna look super dope like a little cottage and once again not the end all be all but oh my gosh look at that look what that is ah oh, look at that wall's backwards or actually that actually looks right oh, that actually looks right nice so what i'll probably do as well since, like, our whole goal is to explore and whatnot, I might... Just go ahead with some stuff like this. Oops. And... We surely want to be able to get up to that. So what I'll probably do... not going to interfere with it is it and i mean this is just this is just for now oops but what i'm probably gonna do oh yeah and look oh look there's a hurricane over there let's get some higher get to vantage point here and i think that there was multiple choices here but we'll switch Go ahead and build this thing. So this is pretty cool. Oh, that's almost not good, but I think we're still okay. We can always build that up a little bit higher, but we can get up here. So that's the hurricane that we're we're gravitating around, if you will. Oh snap! So that's the hurricane. So basically, everything in here is supposed to be floating around that. But what we're going to do, I think we found a ribbon. Oh, check this out. That's super cool. They got like a little pond here. Oh, you can collect water. What's that going to do for me? Dirty water. Clean it before you drink it. 
That sounds like something we might want to get like a handful of. Get like a nice little chunk. So I think we were down there before. I think we got that ribbon. Right? A little sprint action. So if I'm not mistaken, we still need this other ribbon that was over here. But this is freaking cool. So I definitely want to get over to one of these other haunted, condemned islands. So I got to get like across the way. I'm going to go check that out though. We spent enough time building like a habitable area. I think we'll be okay. And I'm not exactly sure what what's going to happen when our guy gets rained on a bunch of times or anything. But hopefully by then we'll have already figured some stuff out. So these things right here, look at this thing glowing. Freaking dope. Mother Earth provided that from which we thrived. A sawmill. And then let's see. Sawmill. Sharp enough to saw through wood and transform them into planks. And then it's saying that I would need Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. Okay, so it's saying that I would need Oh, I'm down. Okay, so this is just the Add resources below. What's the only resources I got, bro? Here we go. So sharp stone. There we go. Took me a second to figure it out. But we'll do a couple of those. Because that's what we're going to need for the sawmill. Dang, and these big trees, I'm almost like nervous to cut those down. So... We'll do like a little look-see around. Like, there's like a couple of just random islands. Like, this island's just floating over here, looking all... Forest like. Very cool. Dang, and these big rocks can be broken too. Which is also very interesting. Alright, let's see. We gotta. I'm gonna try to go build this sawmill. Oh, so there's my crib, but I'm on the wrong side of this big rock. Probably be helpful to build like a little setup right there. But in the meantime, we are just trying to check out what's going on. Oh! Oh, so I actually didn't take very much fall damage, but that's kind of embarrassing. Kind of embarrassing. And this thing's pretty cool right now. I know it's just like opened up. And that's not finished, but we're working on it. So, when it comes to building a sawmill, I think... I just, we can actually chill under here. I might actually just put it like right underneath this little garden. And I'm thinking that we can probably do something with those gardens eventually. So now that we have that, we can use it. Oh, look. And so this thing's going around a circle. And if you hit the button at the right time, it'll automatically turn things into planks. Dang, we only have that many pieces of wood. That's kind of... I can't even believe that. We had so much wood before that... Oh. And if you mess up... That's all she wrote. All the wood I have. So once again, now that we have another material... I think I should probably just cut some trees down and stuff. Just, just to keep it... Keep them alive, but... Uh, I don't want to get too much into the stuff. I kind of wanted to explore a little bit more. Oh yeah, then once they're done, you can just chop them, and that gives you a ton. That's freaking cool. All right, so tab, we're able. So now that we have planks, planks are cut and straightened and can be used as building material or to build a glider. But so how does that work? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. 
So that's going to be mandatory that we do that. So they're telling me that I need... I need to get some more... Wait, where's my inventory at? Some more leaves? Let's see here. To do my crafting at the crafting table. So we'll just grab ahead and get some more of those. Oh, yes. And now that we have that, let's go ahead and equip that thing straight up. And I'm not sure how it works, but I do have it equipped. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. So hold on a second. Oh, I do see. I do see. So I hit space bar, and then I hit space bar again. To start the flying. And I, like, took off. I wasn't intending to go that fast, but my guy freaking took off. So I'm kind of scared, but let's try this anyway. Oh, well, that was... An unsuccessful first attempt there because I slid off the edge. But now that we are cruising here. Okay, so I'm using. Okay, so they say hold the right mouse click to slow down. Oh, and then the other mouse click makes you go super fast. So I'm freaking cruising right now. It is a little foggy out here, though. Okay, so. So we got that one before, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's kind of scary. Kind of cray cray. Ugh. So you're like gliding, but I'm still like perpetually moving up. I'll take that. That's no problem. And look at this. It is kind of foggy up here, but this is freaking awesome. Look at me freaking. Oh. Look at me go. I wonder if there is another stone that we haven't gotten. Because I'm pretty sure we got this one before. And I believe we got the other two because we learned the workbench. And we learned... Oh, we learned the longleaf bed. Which I didn't put down. Let's see, do we see any more of those little wavy trophies? Oops. So, I honestly don't, at this current moment in time, see any more... I like how it's showing me this is home, but I think my actual house is up here. Oh, I see. I see. It is like a glider in the sense that you can like go up and down and just like coast and stuff. Oh, we made it home. So I do want to put this bed down, though, because that was something that they were pretty clearly saying was important. And... The island is now your home. Awesome. Oh, snap. So my guy's going to take a little sleep ski here. Oh, it's nighttime. Nighttime. Kind of scary out here. But it's super cool how, like, some of these things are glowing. Like how some of these rocks are glowing. I wonder if I can just get right in here. It looks like all these rocks are destructible. But your guys' energy is dependent on... Oh, check that out in there. All right. Awesome. Oh, this is super cool. Oh, and there's water here, too. Oh, yeah. So that's freaking convenient. With some water dripping off the ceiling. That's cool. Dang, this, like, avatar scene. That's legit. That's legit like that i wonder if i'm able to sleep again just to make it daytime 
Because, oh yeah. Ask and thou shalt receive. So I think what I'm going to do... Now that I have this marked home... I think I'm going to try to go over to another island. So it is a little nerve-wracking at first, flying around. Because we don't really know like what the F is going on with this glider. And then you're taking off at like 100 miles an hour. But I think now... I don't even see anything here. I mean, other than obviously. Oh, there's flowers. Oh, let's grab everything we can. That's a different looking tree, but I don't think. My guy keeps trying to lay down. You can't be laying down on the job, brother man. Oh yeah, here we go. And they're like, hey, now that you got this, oh, there's a tomato. A red and acidic fruit. Plus four max HP for three minutes. And then here's the seed. Plant in it. Plant it in a farming plot to grow a tomato plant. Interesting, interesting. So it looks like at the bottom left is my health and my stamina. Dang, look at all those tiny little jimmering islands. This is cool. We got the bottom left, it looks like that's my stats. And it looks like this takes a little bit of your energy to do. To fly. With the boost. Yeah, see how it took my energy a little bit? And I fly through the trees? Oh! I don't think I could fly through the trees, but I got lucky. I don't know if there's more, like, vegetables or anything out here. I'm gonna grab just, like, plain stuff. Everything I can get my hands on. But I also wanted to see if maybe we could get to an island that had something we could actually use as far as maybe another one of those stones. Because I'd like to learn at least one more thing. And, like, this is a part of, the, of our island that we never even really went to. Oh, snap. So there is a... A hostile one right there. Dude, so we had like two little friendlies over there. And then we got a hostile over here. I think we have enough energy. I might... Just go and see what's happening over here. Oh man, you know what? Let's go check this hostile island out. Because I'm really curious. I like the colors and stuff. I got an axe. Oh, that boy was too slow. Oh, this thing's like alive. Oh snap, he's got friends. Oh, but y'all are too slow. Some kind of vegetable? Oh my gosh! Oh! I, I liberated a... Like, this whole island just changed. That's awesome. Oh, look, and then there's a stone! And a potato seed. Look at this guy. Ah, oh, you got lucky, punk. I'm getting potato seeds. Awesome. Let's actually check that out real quick. So not only did... Oh, I got fungal fiber. Fiber! Resource used to craft rope. A nourishing tuber. Plus six max HP for five minutes. Potato seed. Very interesting. Very interesting. But I don't see anything else. Well, maybe there's more... Potatoes? Yo, I gotta be honest with you, though. These graphics and stuff are really cool. Oh, there we go. Them taters. So let's see what we, what we can learn here. Gosh, is that our island? What a freaking beauty, dude. 
What a freaking beaut. The sea of clouds brought us ashore. Home once again. And these like glowing stones and stuff are cool. This one's like orange. Elm. So it looks like I got some some sort of like a captain's wheel. Hearing wheel used to pilot an island. Very interesting. That's a big island though. I almost feel like you'd want to set up on like an island this size if you were serious about moving along, if that's what it's going to cost. So I'm going to get, now that I've got like several things, give me that potato too. I'm going to try to fly back over here because like I said, I'm not 100% about like your stamina. And I got, I definitely got punched by a couple angry mushrooms too. But look at this freaking island, you guys. This is super dope. Oh. This is super dope. That's the first one we got. We just came from that island right there, but it didn't look like that before. And... Like, our, our island's cool for sure. I don't know if this is like a generic starter island or not, but it's pretty dope. I feel like it's pretty safe. And there's a couple ways you can just get in from down here. Ouch. I'm still not 100% about how... Like, flying proficiently. I did make it across some spaces in time. But... I do think that there was like one or two things for us to craft here. Okay, so we can mix these two things together. Learn how to make a rope. So let's go ahead and craft couple ropes. New recipe. Stone sickle. A tool for cutting grass and small plants. Awesome. So we might be able to... Oh, stone sword. Take that stone sword. Let's see, I'll take a couple more of these too. We have a bunch of stones. Let's just bloop, 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 make a couple of those. And then we got that sickle. Nice. So, oh no, we don't actually have rope. But let's take these guys. And then was there something else for us to learn? This. Wooden bucket. Container used to water soil. Interesting. Stone door kip. A tool that can be used as a hoe or as a spear. And them hoes ain't loyal. Leaf bucket. Container used to water soil. We got no soil to water yet, though. As a hoe or as a spear. That's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. I almost think that we're going to want that. And probably going to want that bucket, too. I really don't think that that... I think that leaf is just like a primitive version of the bucket. But let's go ahead and check this stuff out. So let's equip this. Let's equip that. Let's equip this. Let's equip that. So I wonder if... We just had to remember what order they're in. Oh, you can see them at the bottom right. That's very interesting. So we did everything except for... The Bucket of Leaf. This is pretty cool. So yeah, you can just be like, blah, blah, if you get good enough at it. Otherwise, it just takes a second. But, let's see. I guess I will see about this. Maybe these bushes? Ah, oh, yes. Okay, you get leaves from the bushes of those kinds. But, here are your farm plots. Wow. Oh, so now I can learn a stone farming plot, interior farming plot, exterior farming plot. Dang, so back to the building stuff. Interesting. Just by digging up some grass. And then they're like, hey, now, oh, a mixture, a soil, a mixture of dirt and organic matter is used for farming. Dude, that's sweet. That's pretty sweet. Anyway... This has been freaking 
pretty cool. Free demo, a loft. And uh, we did quite a bit, but I still think that there's a lot to do. I mean, I saw tons of islands. I don't know how far they're going to let us take it. Um, I don't even have a complete house here. I'm thinking I might just make this area more secure. But as of right now, I think this is pretty freaking cool. And I think this is a good start. I'm going to make at least one more video on this game, depending on how long the demo is. But I just want to say thank you guys for joining me. I hope y'all enjoy this content. I hope y'all uh, find this game interesting. And if nothing else, it's pretty graphically pleasing, you know? Just just like the surroundings and the noise and the environment. But uh, I just want to say thank you guys again. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.